morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela, and we are on day 46. 46 days, and I'm pretty crabby today. No, I'm not. I'm in a good mood. And I'm in a good mood because we're going to draw a beach and a crab today. Hence my little hat, my little crab hat. And so go ahead and grab your pencils and your paper, your colored pencils, your crayons, your markers, and let's get everything and let's get started drawing a cute little crab. All right, here we go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our crab. Now we're gonna make kind of a whole scenery here today. So we're gonna move our crab kind of right down to here and we're gonna make our crab kind of an egg shape. Let's go ahead, we have always start with some kind of shape. So we're gonna start with kind of an egg. Not very much an egg, but an egg laying on its side. How, we, how about we say that? Now let's go ahead and give our little crab some eyes. Now he's gonna have different eyes than me because these are kind of crazy eyes on this hat. But we're gonna get little egg shapes up here. Not too big, they're just gonna be on the top of his head. We're gonna leave our little white spot, our little highlight there, just like that. And then let's go ahead and color him in while we're here. And I'm gonna give my little crab some eyebrows. Now I said I'm crabby today and I'm really not crabby. I'm in a good mood. So we're gonna make our little crab in a good mood too. So we're gonna give him little eyebrows just like this. They're gonna be right kind of over the top of his eyes. They could be touching a little, but they don't have to either. Let's give him a little smile. We're gonna give him one of those little sly smiles. It's only one-sided. So we're gonna put the line where his cheek would be. And then we're gonna go down and give him kind of a little half smile. So he's just kind of like making a silly little smile at you. Now, crabs have big kind of uh, pincher hands. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on. We're gonna make his little arm on both sides. He's gonna be putting them up in the air like he's dancing. And then we're gonna make another, we're gonna have a lot of egg shapes going on here today. We're gonna to make kind of an egg shape, or should I say like a tulip? It's gonna come up like that, and then it's gonna cut right into a triangle. See how it's gonna look like he's got little claws? And then we're gonna go over and do the exact same thing to this side. And we're gonna dip in and make a V and give him claws. Now he's got lots of little legs, lots of little legs. So we're gonna put all his little legs on, and we're gonna bend them down. They're connected, they come out straight out of his body, and then they go down, just like that. And then we'll put some over here on this side. These are what help him run around in the sand. He digs those little pointed parts in the sand and he is able to run around. So now we have got our crab there. Let's go ahead and add some extras to make it a more interesting picture. Now we're gonna have our crab running toward the water. So we're gonna make water here. We're gonna have a big wave kind of coming up on the shore and it's gonna kind of touch his belly and then go right out the other side. And then so it looks like a wave, like where it comes up on the sand, it's gonna be a lighter color. So we're gonna make it like this. We're gonna give it two lines, just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and before we put the line for the beach, let's put a palm tree in there. Now we drew a palm tree, a very realistic palm tree with the palm fronds all coming down. This one's gonna be more of a cartoon one. So we're gonna make it kind of fat We'll come up here just like this and we'll make it kind of fat and then we got to have the end and instead of just ending it straight we're going to end make a little line like this so it looks like it's growing in the sand rather than just putting it stuck there let's go ahead and draw our coconuts while we're here because palm trees have some coconuts on them and see how when i draw circles i draw one and then i drew the other two behind it so you only see part of the circle now we're gonna make a very big palm tree. This isn't, remember, this is cartoon. So it's gonna be like big, huge, huge palms on this. Big oversized palms. All right. Almost looks like a flower, a little bit like a flower. But when we color it, it will look more like a palm tree. Let's go ahead and put our beach line in here. So wherever we put our line for our beach, remember it's gotta go all the way across, even if the lobsters are, it's not a lobster, even if the crab is in the way, we want it to go right across there. That's our horizon line. Let's go ahead and get really fun. Now we're gonna draw a sunshine. Now a lot of times when I draw, when we do beaches and stuff, I don't draw suns with the big points on them because I don't think it looks really realistic. So, but since this is a cartoon, I'm gonna draw a very cartoon looking sun for you. So we're gonna draw a circle. And then we're gonna do the points, come right out of it. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, and you can draw your sun any way you like. If you don't like doing your sun this way, do the sun any way you want. 
And then I'm going to have him have matching eyes, just like the lobster. Sometimes it's fun to do that, have the matching faces in your drawings. And I'm going to put my highlights and then color it in. And then I'll put the highlight in and then I'll color it in again. And I'm going to give him that same little smile that we gave our little crab. There we go. Now we are ready to draw. We have a full cartoon here with a background and everything. Sometimes we just draw like we did the panda bear. We just did the panda holding a piece of bamboo shoot. This time we're going to do the whole thing. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the red because I just a good place to start. And we are going to color our crab all in red. Okay, he's going to have a lot of little parts. Whoops, he's going to have a lot of little parts to him. And this is going to be almost like a coloring book as you're doing it because there's so many parts to color. So hopefully I don't go too long and get you too bored doing this, watching me color all this. I'm going to go down to his legs. And I'm using pastels. So when you use pastels, it's really hard. You don't want to lean in them because if you lean on a pastel, you just make a big mess. It smears all over the place. So sometimes crayons are the absolute best to use if you just want to color. And most everybody has a box of crayons around their house. Most everybody. All right, I'm getting there. We're almost done with our little crabby guy. Isn't it funny how when you're in a bad mood, somebody will ask you if you're being a crab? Do you think crabs are always in a bad mood? This guy looks pretty darn happy. I don't think he's in a bad mood. I don't think he is. I think he is quite enjoying being out in the sun. All righty, we got that done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start on the sand. Now, I've got kind of a goldy yellow color, but your sand can be any color you want it to be. Let's see, I'm getting my paper all crumpled up here. And I got a lot of sand, so I'm just going to be fast. And I'm going to try to color as quickly as I can. Oh, I like that color for the sand. It seems to look just like the sand. You want the sand to be kind of a pretty color, like a sand that you'd want to go sit in. When they're, if you use brown, then eh, I don't know if you'd want to go sit on a brown beach. All right. Oh my, my coloring is lacking today. But, like I said, it's not all about perfect coloring. And it's not all about watching me color either. Because uh, you guys have all the time, you have all day long to do these pictures. Now, if you want to, I know a lot of you are doing schoolwork at home while you're, while you're stuck at home. Maybe you could turn these into your art lessons. Tell mom, I want to do my art lesson today and turn the video on and do an art lesson. Okay, now we're going to use a lighter blue. Remember how I did the two different colors? Because if you watch, you're sitting on a beach and when the, sand, when the water comes up on the sand, it seems lighter on the sand because there's not as much depth. There's not as much color in it when it, when it uh, goes over the top of the sand. So we're going to make the first line of this light blue. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then we're going to do the bottom part of it, just a darker blue. So it looks like this is a deeper part of the water and as it comes up on the sand, it's less water. So it has less color. Alrighty. Oh, I like this. I like the color. How are yours looking? You're doing good. Look at my arm in the way. How can you see a darn thing with my arm constantly in the way? But it's kind of hard to draw sideways. Remember I said yesterday, I said I could go on the other side. Hmm, do I remember from day to day? Nope. Here I am still on this side of it. But I'm right-handed, so I want to stay on this side or, you know, use this hand. Because otherwise my coloring on my other side with my left hand, I'm not that good at. Okay. Wow. How is yours looking? I'm loving this so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the sun. I'm going to get up there and I am going to go over to the other side. Here we go. Get my little crab over here and I'm going to color my sun in all bright yellow. Now if you want to, you can do the sun different colors. You can have the rays that come out of the sun, orange or red or whatever color you want. I have a yellow in my hand, so I'm going to do my whole sun yellow. Now I made eyes like this. Maybe you want your son to have sunglasses. How cool would that be? All right, now we'll move back over here. Let's go ahead and make, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and make our coconuts. We're gonna color those in brown. And if you want to, I didn't put a little highlight on them, but if you want to leave a little bit of white on them, you can always leave 
a little bit of white like the sun is shining on those coconuts. What do you think? Now let's go ahead and do this, the, I'm gonna call it the stem. We'll do the bottom half of the, of the tree in a very, in our brown color. And if you use a crayon box, you have all different color browns, so you can choose whichever one you want. Now let's go ahead and make the top part of our palm tree in green. Oh, I like this color green. It's kind of a pretty green. Okay, green, green. I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. So a lot of you have been drawing with me since the very beginning, and that is really, really awesome. Some of you have drawn on paper. Some of you have even done it on computer, which is really neat. I, I can't even do that. Oh my gosh, I'm always so impressed when I see somebody send me a computer generated of the picture of the same one I'm drawing. That's so awesome. I love the creativity. I love when you change it up a little bit and you make different colors or you put something else in there. I mean, you could put some seashells there. You could put a sand bucket. You could put anything you want. Now I'm gonna go back to my light blue for the very end. I'm gonna get my muscles going here because there's gonna be a lot of coloring. All right, I'm gonna get my blue sky in there because it's a beautiful day. This is one happy little crab. He's enjoying being on the beach, dipping his toes in the water. He's getting a little shade from the palm tree. And his little sun friend is up there in the sky looking down on him. Oh my gosh, my arm, my arm. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the other side. I should have put this in the middle because then I wouldn't be way over here on the picture. All right, but I'm gonna do it fast. So I won't be over here for very long. All right, now we have got a very, very adorable little crab on the beach. And as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, you could go back and just remember you're the artist, so if you find a spot that you don't like, that it didn't fill in really well, go ahead and go back and fix it. Again, you can put anything on that beach. You can have sand buckets and pails. You can have you. You can have some seashells. You can have another crab on the beach. You can have a little buddy on the beach with them. You can have a little buddy going in the water. Maybe a shark. I'm not kind of obsessed with these sharks lately. But anyway, go ahead and do a picture. If you want to share it with me, I would love to see it. You're going to do what I do, tell you every day. You're going to stay safe. You're going to wash your hands. You're going to listen to your parents. You're going to stay creative and you're going to be kind to each other. We're in this together and we'll be out of our houses when the sun starts shining and we're starting to have nice days again. I bet we'll be back outside again. So enjoy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe and be happy everyone. And don't be crabby, don't be crabby. Bye-bye.